So this is what we're going to build today. Pretty much the same thing. We hit a button and it loads a whole bunch of entities here down below. And then we're going to build a functionality where we can tap on an entity and then it brings out this window with the name. Let's get onto it. So we're going to start with adding a detail view. So we're going to hit command and command and n. We're going to choose Swift UI view right here. And let's say detail view like so. And then we're not going to use this preview anymore. So we're just going to delete that. And then let's say we want to display title and some kind of functionality to dismiss this detail view. So let's start with at state variable title type of string. And then we're going to add a functionality to dismiss this view. And that is environment dismiss window. And this will be a private variable, private var dismiss uh, window, like so. And then we're going to delete this, add a vstack, add a, uh, let's add a text first. And then let's say entity, entity name is title. Let's make it more visible by giving it a font title and make it a bold and then adding a button here action and then what we're going to do is uh, dismiss this window dismiss window but since this detail view is going to be um, associated with an ID we're going to give it an ID value here the I uh, ID, something like that. And in the last video, we discussed how we can link, uh, link some kind of like event between like these views on where is it on this app, as you can see, uh, we're using this like ID here. So we're going to go in there, add another one. Static, let, uh, let's say detail view ID equals detail view ID, something like that. Okay. Then what was it called? Immersive ID dot detail view ID. Then we can give it a label of dismiss. So now that we have set up this detail view, let's go back to the app level. And then we're going to add another window group here the group with the ID of something content like so and then let's link this with detail view ID and then uh, we have to say for something like that string dot self and then this closure will take in a uh, value here we're just going to say uh, value in and then we can say this whenever this detail view ID is called from somewhere inside this app, we're going to open up this detail view with the title of value dot wrapped value. And we're going to force unwrap it at the moment. But, uh, but if you want to do some like a check, like right here, go, go ahead and do so. I'm not going to do that just so we can read this, you know, better. Okay, now that we set up a gateway for this app to open up this detail view, we need to set up, uh, we need to set up how we can actually um, call this. And the way we can call this is from our immersive view. When we add this kind of entity, we're going to add in, say, a tap gesture for this. So we're going to double click on this. From here, we're going to add another like a modifier that gesture and then we're going to give it a spatial gesture dot targeted to 
any entity. So basically this means that whenever we tap on a like uh, some kind of like entity, it will actually uh, it will actually try to look for that entity and then get the value from there. And then we're going to say unended. Like right here, we're just going to say um, value. And oh yeah, we uh, we still need to set up how to open this uh, detail view from here, right? And then, we, uh, and then we can set that up by giving it a environment variable, environment open window, private bar, open window like so. And then from here, so right, uh, so right now what we set up is that when you tap on some kind of entity this will get populated as that and uh, that entity value so to speak well it's a little more complicated than that but we can actually extract a um, entity from this value and this is how you uh, can do it let's say let um, entity equals value dot entity like so and then we can say let name equals entity dot name simple as that and then from here we can quote unquote open up this detail view window by giving it a id and like uh, what we uh, what we can do well, what we can send uh, send in as well as the id is that is this name so self dot open window and then from here we have this id ID and value and value. We're gonna uh, choose uh, choose this one. ID is what we set up. Uh, was it on content view? Oh yeah, right here. Immersive ID dot detail view ID, and then the value is gonna be just name, like so. So to um to explain this uh, one more time, once we tap on a on entity this block will call and then we uh, and then we will be grabbing the entity right here and then grabbing the, uh, the name of the entity here and then we're going uh, we're going to call this open window with the id of like a detail view id along with the name and then from practice vision os app level uh, they will uh, they will look for that specific id and then call upon this window group and then Remember, we are sending in this value as well. That value gets carried over to here, and then we are using that right here as well as the title of this detail view. And we're gonna make another file right here. Let's go next. Model entity plus helper, like so. And then we're gonna import reality kit extension model entity and then we're gonna write an uh write a simple function here func uh, let's see um let's say add tappable and then this will return a not another model entity right here and then let's say we're gonna say let new model entity and what we're going to do right here is to basically clone our cell. Clone recursive, uh, true. And then uh, the reason why we set this like recursive to true is that like let's say this one has like a more than one entity like um as uh as the what is it um children then we are going to um apply this to everything that has inside. Uh, okay, from here. We're going to say uh, new model entity components dot set, and then we're going to do uh, what is input target component. So what we're doing, uh, what we're doing right now is that basically um, allowing this mo uh, this new model entity to uh, to be able to receive a tap uh, tapping action. Let's say uh, need this to 
receive input inside reality and then we're, uh, what we're going to do is to give it a collision shape new model entity dot generate collision shape cursive to true and then we're going to return this so the reason why we need to generate collision shape is that if, uh, even though we're Mm. Oh. Even though we're making uh, making it, uh, we're allowing it to receive a input, say basically like a tapping gesture, it still needs some kind of concrete shape to precisely locate where that tapping action is happening. Otherwise, right now, if we com uh, commit this out, we're just basically tapping on the air right now we're giving that new entity a some solid shape for us to actually tap onto. Okay, now that we generated this collision shape, some full, uh, some solid concrete ground to uh, tap onto, we're gonna give it a run. And here we are. So pretty much the same thing, click on the button, it will load uh, some entities out there. And then we have to move around, yeah. So I'm gonna um, tap onto uh, one of these right here, and then it brings up the entity name. Looks like I um, tap onto this guitar. I can hit dismiss, TV, retro, and pretty much all the other stuff. So that was about it. For my next video, I think I'm gonna cover how we can drag these around. So nothing's, you know, spawn in like a, uh, one space all at the same time so i'll see you at the next video thank you so much